Now that is much better than it was before. Those guys have been painting the house opposite for over a week now and they're still in the same bit. It's strange because the work they seem to be doing above us, they're like speeding through it. They're like building a whole another level basically, like a whole attic space. And then opposite, <laughs> in the same amount of time, they've they sort of changed a window and painted some of the outside. The difference in speed between the two is quite funny. So here's some behind the scenes of my video this Friday, stay tuned. Can anyone guess what it is with all these concoctions on the table? Ooh. And I spilled something so it's made a mark <laughs> on my background, but hey ho. How is it going Alex? I made him this about three hours ago and he hasn't eaten it. Yeah, I was gonna say, does anyone else just not feel like eating in the morning? Well then don't eat. I get no, but I need to eat. Like it's really tasty now, but in the morning when I wake up at like 8 o'clock like that. No, I, I, I can't relate, sorry. I'm no. starving hungry as soon as I wake up in the morning. Yeah. I've never understood people who intermittent fast. I don't get it, I don't know how you do it. I'm literally I'm ravenous the second I wake up. Yeah. There's only so, odd occasions that I don't feel hungry and that's when I'm not well, like if I'm tired or like overstressed or something. I wake up starving. And some days I'm just like, I do not want to eat that porridge. So I guess that's why I have smoothies all the time. No, I'm always, you know me, I literally get up and I'm like hungry. Yeah. Look what I'm making. I'm making a very fast stir fry for lunch. Um, using my Thai green curry paste that I made the other day in that other vlog. Um, I'll link it, or Alex will link it. But I just shoved that in with some vegetables and some chickpeas. And that's it. And then a bit of soy sauce. And then you have a really quick, healthy lunch. And I'm going to have it with some brown rice. It's already dished out. And then Alex is going to have it with the leftover noodles from last night's dinner. Super fast and healthy lunch. Here comes your personal chef, it seems. It's the of life. Is it Simba or something? Yeah. Are you delighted with the amount of green vegetables? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Okay, do you, do you want some sriracha and soy yeah. sauce? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Maybe we should trial something where I cook dinner and you cook lunch forever. Because then when I'm editing, you cook. And then when I'm done editing, I cook. No. I uh, like oh, okay. Well, you can do both Sometimes. then. You can cook both. It's a done deal. I finished my edit. That means the day can begin, but unfortunately, it's dark out. Maddie's just uh, gone out. She had some Christmas shopping to do. We were meant to go together, but this edit took a little longer because the audio was a bit messed up. So she had to go on ahead while I just finished it. It's exporting now. I've got a rush. Get dressed and head out and meet her before the shop shut. They've still got about an hour till they shut, but I want to get out. And I've got pretty much, if I think about it, I think I've got Christmas presents, all the Christmas presents I need. And it's only, what is it, 5th of December? I'm doing quite well. Hang on, I'm to get my jeans. But the one thing I would like is a nice auxiliary microphone. So for Maddie's camera, this is the one she used to use to vlog on and film when she first started. But of course you can't, the screen doesn't flip up and it doesn't have autofocus, so it's quite bad. But we were thinking of some days, if we just wanted to chat, we'd put the tripod here and just be sitting on the sofa chatting. But then, unless we talk really loud, the audio can be quite hard to hear, which means you just hear a lot of white noise in the background if you try to adjust the audio levels. And I've seen some other YouTubers who have like a really nice setup and you can hear them, it's like they've got microphones right there. You can hear the audio so well. 
so so I could go in and out of the dark. So I'd love one of them, but I know they're really expensive. I'll have to see what we can do in the new year. At least I've got all my presents, so I don't need to uh, worry so much. Right. Just on my way to see Maddie now. back. That was the quickest journey ever. Yeah, because I, I was going to vlog out and then I realised we you were buying Christmas presents so if I film them, yeah. the people who watch will know. All my family watch yeah. my vlogs. So. And I did buy one thing. Did you? Yeah. What did you buy? I can't tell for you. yourself? No, 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 not for me. I got some jumpers but I'll do a gonna... full, I'll do a full, well actually the vlogs will probably be out at the same time so if you want to see the haul or the me chatting about shopping, charity yeah. thing, go watch my vlog because yeah. I will, um, yeah. We were chatting about a basket the other day for putting the tree in. Maybe. And maybe, and general use. Yeah, I wanted a basket like Sorry. this anyway. The rest of the stuff's in there, so I can't show it. <laughs> yeah, I wanted a basket like this anyway. Yeah. I've been wanting one for a while for plants and, um, or laundry or something. Because I just, they're so practical and they just look so nice. So yeah. let's find out if the tree fits in it. Alright, I'm, I'm fine unless we've got some presents. I'm going to wrap them up straight away and just put them under the tree so it comes out. But look, but we can do it. It's a bit too big. Yeah, it didn't work for the Christmas tree. I suspected it might not because it's quite narrow. But that looks pretty cool. Does it? Was it too big? Well, you were saying you, were you saying you needed, uh, you needed a bigger pot for that one? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cute, isn't it? I think it looks cool. But then you wouldn't have it for use as a all-purpose basket for laundry and stuff. Yeah, maybe we should use it as a basket. I don't know, we'll think about it. Maddie accidentally spilled turmeric on all those towels earlier, so we had to wash them. It's for an exciting video she's filming for later this week. Away it goes, into the stratosphere. I'm gonna have some banana bread though. Do you think we'll finish it today? Yes. Well, there won't be a slither left. A slither, we'll keep a slither to say we kept it to Wednesday. A slither for me. We have an update on the charger. Tom sent it down yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, he sent it yesterday. He sent it special recorded delivery, which means it arrives before 1 p.m. the next day. It costs extra but it meant I would get it guaranteed today for use today with vlogging, editing, all that stuff. And then I was wondering where it was. It came, you know, one o'clock came and went. And then we went out into Hove. This must have been about four, half four. I found this little note, um, not by our front door, but by the front door of the whole building saying, sorry, I missed you. Um, even though we were in all day. Yeah, there was no knock. There was no knock, there was no, you know, the blinds were open, the windows were, you know, you could see in, you could see people were in here, the lights were on. I think we yeah. need to get the, um... The doorbell the thing. The doorbell, because there's a door to the yeah, we've apartment got, block. I think, is that connected to it, that little thing in the corner? It doesn't work, she said it doesn't work, we need to ring this thing. I know, but that's, that's like the fire alarm and it's also the intercom. She said to talk to the estate agent, but we just need a, we need a phone that we connect up in here apparently and then, then okay. it rings through to a phone because I think that that will happen a lot where postmen or delivery men will just knock on the front door but we won't know that they're there and they won't want to come in Oh well, actually yeah true, maybe the front door was locked Yeah It's still very annoying though because you, you pay extra money to get it today and then it doesn't come I do sound moany It is, no it's, not, it's just it's just one of those annoying things you know I'll go and get it in the morning and it, it will form my morning uh, should I walk or cycle? I like to cycle in the afternoon, walk in the morning. So I turn that into a positive, get a nice walk out of it. At least I didn't desperately need it today, but I will be needing it tomorrow because you will be editing too, won't you? I'm using my laptop all day tomorrow. Yeah, sorry for being moany. Okay, I'm 
go to bed now. Good night. This is going on my side. What are you hovering for? Thank are you, you about to accost me? Ah! <laughs> Stop it. All right, you put them away. I knew you were in for a reason. You stay there. <laughs> I just want you to say good night to our good viewers. Night. I'm not right, it's awful. Ah. I'm saying to Alex, his these videos just show off my immature, childish side. Like, I just come across as this super childish little girl who yeah. moans and complains and whines. Like yesterday's video, when you showed me the lights, and I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Like, I sound like so stupid. It's like showing a side I didn't want to be on the internet. I think we're both like that. Huh? I don't think anyone's like particularly serious on camera I know. most of the time, anyway. I know. Is it bedtime? Yeah. Okay. Good night, loyal viewers. And don't forget to drink plenty of water. Don't forget to remind Alex to drink his tea because he never does. Tea is mostly water.